They came in numbers, young and old, here to express their views about what's happening in Gaza. What we are calling for, we are calling for uh, the two-state solution so that uh, the people of Palestine can govern themselves, can have their own state, a, a sovereign state with equal rights, their own airports, their, their, their own you know, uh, 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 schools, and uh, you know, govern themselves. I don't think that it's, they have the right to defend themselves because defend themselves against what exactly? That's my question to everybody. Uh, a few rockets that never even got over the, the border. Uh, they have these, these uh, iron domes, they have protection, they, they have uh, all kinds of equipment that the Palestinians don't have. We are here today to stand in solidarity with the people of Palestine. For the past 75 years, the people of Palestine have been facing the same oppression from apartheid Israel. And it seems as if international humanitarian rights is, it only excludes Palestine. People are suffering every day. Without having to rehash the realities of the Palestinians, South Africa went through the same thing. For us, South Africa, this is personal because we know how it, what, what it feels to be dispossessed of your land and of your dignity and your humanity. And it's something that we South Africans, we can't tolerate. Me as a unionist, obviously, human rights is a fundamental principle that we'll fight for, whether at home or abroad. As the dead toll rises, the governing party, the ANC in South Africa, and its alliance partners say government must expel Israel's diplomats. The governing party says Palestinians must be free and allowed to determine their own future. We have a rich history that uh, comes out of our own struggle, where we have gone out to mobilize the world to understand our plight. What Comrade President is doing is exactly what our forebears have done. President Tambo, Chief Albert Lutuli, President Nelson Mandela, ourselves, as we have heard from Comrade Secretary General, will be engaging with the liberation movements here in Africa. We are calling for an urgent meeting of the African Union we are interacting with sister organizations worldwide. Mokonyane also says the International Criminal Court must step in. We've also said we call on the ICC. Remember we had initially had a position that said let's pull out. But we realized that it's better to fight from within and call for reform. This is a test of the ICC where a head of state calls and gives warning to people of another nation to say evacuate otherwise who are coming to flat in your country. A country that they've already occupied. Isn't, the, isn't that a crime against humanity? Isn't that an issue that needs to be attended to? So our resolutions have never been lip service. Our struggle is a protracted one and we'll never tire in doing everything. And if we have to come back tomorrow again to the streets, we'll do it. While the Israeli diplomat says they'll always be open for talks after they did not receive the ANC memorandum outside the diplomatic mission. I would like to say that uh, actually today we had a very big event in uh, Mercy Town, in Joburg, uh, an event of support for Israel. We had hundreds and hundreds of pastors, of Christian spiritual leaders that came to express their support with Israel, to, to express their solidarity. It was a, a, an exceptional uh, meeting, and we, we, uh, had a, 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 we were very happy to see this support for Israel. We were very happy to, to hear the, the speeches of these leaders, these uh, spiritual leaders of, of speaking in favor of support uh, uh, mm -hmm. of Israel. As the President of the Republic heads to Egypt, the humanitarian crisis continues and the prospects of a ceasefire are non-existent. Meanwhile, the EFF is going to lead another march on Monday calling for the cessation of hostilities. Kyle Kumalo, SABC News, Pretoria.